Um, this morning is an opportunity for us to think about racial equity within the education network. Um, my slides are going to magically appear in a minute um, for me to do a little bit of framing about today's event before I hand over to mm -hmm. Sophia, who's going to be our first speaker. So thinking about the global majority workforce and the global majority pipeline within schools, that is why today's event is happening. So you want to just pop me on, please, to the next slide. We frame all of our events and all of our learning at um, Diverse Educators through what we call the three Cs. Mm -hmm. And I want you to think today, whatever positionality you're coming from, whatever lived experience you're coming from, about how we can help ourselves and each other build our consciousness about the experience of global majority educators within the system, how we can build confidence um, to discuss and challenge some of the issues, and what are the competences we need to be thinking about. For example, recruitment practices, okay? We really think we have to develop all three of these Cs um, in a parallel way to, to make change happen. Next slide, please. These were the questions that we were asking as we framed the event and as we wrote out to all of our partners to join us today. So why are we underrepresented? As a, as a, a racially diverse country, why are we so underrepresented when it comes to the education sector? If I see one more piece of data published or one more report published telling me that we're underrepresented, I might lose my mind. Um, it's actually what we're going to do about that data and how we're going to move things forward. And you're going to hear some great practice and impact from our partners today. Why are we lacking those visible role models? That whole, if you can't see it, you can't be it. Like, how are we actually helping to build representation, build role models, and help people to network and find people who do look like them? Most people are familiar with the glass ceiling as a concept, but are we familiar with the concrete ceiling as a concept? And are we aware of where those structural and systemic barriers sit within our sector above the global majority um, sort of workforce? And where is the best practice and where's the impact? One of the reasons why we organise this event is that there's lots of people doing events, but they're often doing it from their own lived experience perspective. And what I mean by that is there's lots of organisations now, like mine, white-led, um, who are perhaps talking about race. I'm just here to facilitate the event today. You're going to be hearing from people, this is their reality, their lived experience. And I think it's really important we centre the right voices in a conversation about racial equity. So final kind of questions here about how can global majority colleagues find peer support? There's loads of fantastic communities and networks out there. Hopefully from today's event, you will know who to signpost. Um, and how can we help build community um, and help people who are here, who are racialized as being white like I am, think about our allyship and how we can be part of the solution rather than being part of the problem. Next slide, please. So we have got lots of partner organisations with us today, and this is an opportunity for us to really all stand together and think about how systemically we are stronger if we are working together. Each organisation is fantastic in its own right, absolute powerhouses, but also very busy doing the day job. So how can we actually stand together and sort of really move the dial together collectively? So you're going to be hearing from speakers and founders from each of these separate networks and organisations who are all building on each other's work. And here are our fantastic speakers. OK, hopefully you are familiar with who they all are already um, on the event bright listing. You've got their direct um, links to their LinkedIn profiles to then find them and connect with them. If you want to reach out with them, um, reach out and contact them following today's event. Thank you, Richard. And the schedule. We are quite fast paced today. OK, each of our organisations, each of our speakers has 10 minutes really to give their perspective. Um, on the problems there, their perspective on the solutions and strategies for us all to be thinking about. So 10 minutes from each speaker and an opportunity for the people who are listening to put comments and questions in the chat, which I'll then pose to each of the speakers um, to tease out and to explore to give you some ideas back. 